boum, l'astre du jour fait boum. Tout avec lui dit boum, quand notre cœur fait boum, boum. Ça fait boum, quand notre cœur fait boum. Tout avec lui dit boum, l'oiseau dit boum, c'est l'orage. Boum, le monde entier fait boum. Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and with today we're going to look at the AMX 30B, the French Tier X Collector or the little French Leo 1 as I like to call it, which is currently in the store. However, there's a bit of a catch. It's in the store for 25,000 gold. Yep, that's right, 25,000 gold, which realistically works out to around 68 dollars or 60 euros or 55 quid and for that you do get wheels for some reason armor inspector doesn't show it in wheels but that's what it looks like that is the amx 30b this collector now to be honest with you it's not a bad tank it's a good credit earner and this is it here the damage HP output, not too bad. Rate of fire, okay, on the slow side. Penetration, very good. The armor, well, we'll get to that later. Speed, really great. I mean, it's the same speed as the Leo. And the rotation, how quickly it goes around. It's fantastic. Hit points, got 1,850. The armor, as you can see there, the turret is 120 on the front, 55 on the hull. So it's not exactly thick. View range, 300 meters. Ah, it's really good. Camo, not that great. DPM, 2,792. Reload time, just shy of 8 seconds. Penetration, a PCR is 263 mil. The heat is 325 and the HE is 58. Damage, you're going to be looking at getting 350 high rolls on your APCR. 300 on your heat and 400 on your he aim time just over three seconds uh, the depression is a whopping 10 degrees elevation 20 top speed well you're going to get 65 out of it going forward 23 going backwards with an average speed of 41 which isn't too bad there it is there in the armor inspector and as you can see it's pretty thin the uh, the front is the thickest, especially on the turret, and here it is when it's up against an E100, and as you can see, blow on it in its general direction, and you're going to be penetrated. It's as simple as that. This thing doesn't really have any armor to, th to speak of, but you have to think of it as a sort of light medium. This is why I call it the French Leo. It is no different to driving style to the German Leopard 1 medium tank. It is a fantastic tank, don't get me wrong. It's a tricky tank. I mean, unlike the Leo, it hasn't got this lowish profile. And it's got a huge commander's cupola on top of the turret, which is really simple to pen. The gun, I find, is a bit bouncy. Um, so sometimes, because of that depression, you get into a position and it carries on bouncing up and down, which is quite annoying. The speed out of this thing is fantastic. I mean, it's equivalent to a Leo 1, to be honest with you. And the gun is pretty accurate. You're not dishing out massive, massive damage, but it's like a Leo 1. This gun is more about accuracy than it is about anything else. I mean, it's a pleasure to drive, but that amount of money, 55 quid, 68 dollars, 60 euros, is pretty obscene for a tank. Now, this tank originally came out as a crate tank, and, you know, crate tanks are notorious. It's not exactly... Uh, the cheapest thing to the cheapest way to get a tank now with this one it comes with a garage slot nine equipment slots all unlocked a bastille rare camouflage and an alpha dog avatar whatever that may be so you're spending a shed load of money effectively for a tank that is in the greatest of respects not too dissimilar to a leo one and you have to be mindful of that. The Leo 1 is a tech tree tank. It's a free to grind tank. This is going to set you back a lot of cash. This isn't the first time it's been around either. As I said, I mean, it came out as a crate tank originally, not that long ago, about three odd months ago. And it's making its second appearance, this time in the store and this time for 25,000 gold, which is a lot of gold, realistic. You know, you're talking, you can buy 10 Ram 2s for that. And Ram 2 is not a tier one tank so you'd have to be mindful with what you're spending here you're spending a lot of cash for for what 
realistically. It's a nice tank, don't get me wrong. I mean, I enjoy driving it. I'm a complete noob at driving it, but I enjoy driving it. And, and this is the thing about the tank, but I got this tank when it was a crate tank, so I haven't spent 25,000 gold on it. And I'll be honest with you, when, when I first got it, I played it a few times. It's a tricky tank. It's not an easy tank to get to grips with. It's, it's like I say, it's very much like the Leo one. Uh, I, unfortunately, I, I um, because it was a crate tank and I missed the review period because by the time I'd finished playing it, enough games in it, the, uh, the offer had gone. Um, I haven't got any replay. I've only got one replay left from that time. And uh, ironically enough, I got some really good games in that. And I did one game with a good friend of mine called Foxy from uh, BPS, where I got a spectacular first class in this thing. And I've never mastered it. I mean, it's a very tricky tank. And, you know, those who are much better players than me can really, really do some damage in this thing. And as you can see here, I'm playing it effectively like a Leo when I'm sniping. And, you know, I've already, you know, I'm not setting the wood on fire any damage here, but I'm having a good time. And you see how bouncy that gun is. I mean, the gun is very, very bouncy indeed. Sometimes it does struggle to pen some of the bigger tier tens, but it's nothing really to write home about. I mean, if, you, if you're that mindful about it, just stick in your heat and away you go. It's a nice tank. I mean, okay, I missed him and you know, he's going to give me problems. And, you know, it, it's one of those things. It's one of those games. Thing is, though, 55 quid for a tank, 60 dollars, 60, sorry, 60 euros, 68 dollars. Uh, okay, it's a tier 10. That's a lot of money, chaps. I mean, it's not cheap. And, you know, we've seen some pretty bad offers coming out in the stores recently. I mean, it was an M60 going for a hundred dollars. And you could have got the T95 for close to a hundred dollars as well, all of which are tier tens. So is this one worth it? Well, I don't know, is the honest answer. If you are a very serious player, a super duper unicum, and somebody who plays this you know, tournament-wise, etc., etc., then, yeah, it's probably a very wise move to get this tank. If, however, you have got less than 8,000 battles, that your win rate is around 45%, then I would caution you on spending that much money for this tank, and I would urge you to wait. And the reason I would urge you to wait is because this is not a nice tank to play, and it's worth a lot of money. And you'll get incredibly annoyed with it, is the honest answer. Now, that's not to say that I'm sort of being elitist here. I'm just telling you as it is, guys. There are some tanks that are not for the newer player, and this is one of those tanks. It's certainly not for a newer player. If you're a tank collector, then okay, you may want to give it a look, but... 25,000 gold is a lot to drop for a tank. And, you know, are you that desperate to get this little tier 10 French medium into your garage? Like I said, this is not the first time it's come around. This is the second time it came out as a crate, now it's come out as gold. And the chances are it will come out again in about three or four months' time. And it will be for sale, or, you know, it won't cost you 55 quid. And it won't cost you 2,000, you know, 25,000 gold. It'll be half of that. And that's, that's the thing, really. And I would strongly urge you, don't spend your money just yet. S you know, save it and bide your time. You know, it's not as if Blitz has suddenly, Wargaming has suddenly run out of tanks, or, or they're developing so many new tanks that this one's never going to come around again. Because that's not how it works. And you know, over the recent few weeks, we've been inundated with tanks. It will come round again, and it will be cheaper. I am, I'm, I'm absolutely certain of that. But it's your call. If you want to drop 25,000 gold, which is a lot of cash, then you've got two ways of doing it. You know, if you've got the gold stored up, fill your boots. Or try and win my gold giveaway where I'll give you 27,500 gold if you get into the Hall of Fame. 
in one of the tanks that I've noticed, then you can happily go out and buy this. However, you've only got 12 days to do it. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So it's it's not. It's it's. <sighs> I would advise, unless you're absolutely desperate and you've got the money to do this, wait. Don't don't spend your money, guys. Wait. It's a beautiful tank. Don't get me wrong. I can't knock the tank. There's nothing wrong with this tank. There's everything right with this tank. It's a beautiful tank. Um, it really, really is. But the price tag is a little bit obscene. And, you know, this is not the first time in the last three or four weeks that Wargame have come out with a tank where the price tag is overcooked. And this is like the third or the fourth overcooked price tagged tank to come out. And that's the thing, really. I mean, the tank's brilliant. The price is stupid. And that's that's really all I've got to say on that. The tank itself, well, we've seen this. Look at that bouncy gun. It really does bounce. It's so annoying. The tank itself, well, you know, like I said, it's a pleasure to drive. It really is a pleasure to drive. I mean, it's a lovely little tank. It's got a fantastic gun. It's got no armor none whatsoever and it really does struggle in that respect but aside from that it's a beautiful tank it really is a beautiful tank but it does take a lot to get used to it and you know it's, if you've gone out on the leo one the leo one is not for the faint-hearted the fv4202 is not for the faint-hearted this is no different this is not a tank for the faint-hearted it's a great tank. I mean, this is this is a replay I, I played before when I, when I first got it actually. So this is way back when it first came out in the crates, and not many people had this tank at the time. And, and it's now obviously quite a few more people have gone out and bought this tank for this twenty-five thousand gold, because you know a lot of people have wanted this tank, and I'm not surprised because, as I said, I cannot fault the tank, and you know you'll see in this game how good this gun really is. I mean, it has the ability to farm damage. I mean, it's got a nice reload. It's got great penetration. Sometimes it does struggle, but not all the time. And it dishes out nice amounts of damage. I mean, you see, it's, it's you know, you're going to get, I mean, you should be getting on average around the 2,000 mark on average. I mean, that's, that, that's a mediocre game in this thing. I mean, you should be pushing 3,000 plus in this tank, damage-wise, because it has the ability to do that. But, as I said, that's the trick. It's the same as a Leo 1. And just like a Leo 1, you've got to really give it some TLC. You've got to protect that armour, because it doesn't have any. It's as simple as that. You'll get the occasional bounce here and there, nothing major you know it's not like you can side scrape in it because you can't going all down increases your chances of bouncing but you know you saw the armor profile to begin with guys i mean it's pants armor it's not got the best he it's it it, it knocks out 400 i end out for if you're lucky but it's got very poor pen and it's not got the best he so nine times out of ten i end up switching to apcr to, to pen the, the likes of this grilly but it is a nice tank it's got some great mobility you can get it to great places very quickly and you know you, you can do some fantastic things in this thing just like you can in a leo and that's what i keep coming back to this is for all intents and purposes a leo in a french exterior that's what it is, guys. It's, it's, it's got the same parameters as the Leo one. It's the same type of gun. It's the same speed. It's the same roll. It's got the same crap armor. It's basically a French Leo one. And if you don't like the Leo one, don't get this tank. If you love the Leo one and you can afford it, get this tank. Because it's fantastic, but... That's the big rider, guys. You've got to like the Leo 1. Anyway, this is the last game. And, you know, this is a game I did about three minutes before I decided to do this video earlier today. And here we are, out on uh, Canyon. Sorry, Canal. 
Center. I always get those two mixed up because we're picking with C and I'm a bloody idiot. And it's a supremacy game. And as you can see here, I'm, I'm not quite alone. There's a uh, 263 with me. So we're going to push now onto this E50M. Uh, try and get one into him. Yeah, easily penable uh, because he was side on. The, let the 263 do what he wants to do. And now we're going to do what this tank loves doing snipe. And we're going to try and go all down, and we're just going to keep plowing and farming damage all over the shop. And this is what this tank loves, by the way. This tank, just like the Leo, lives to be at a little bit of distance, and it loves to just pick shots into targets. That's what it likes doing, and it loves doing it. And oh, unfortunately, I've missed him, but there's a WZ. Can I get it? Yeah. As you can see, I've just bounced the uh, FV4005 over in the corner there. That was pretty lucky. I mean, I'd, he must have just hit my turret. So here we go now with the uh, 57 Heavy. Goodbye, 57 Heavy. Now we can get back up here, and we can go back to what this tank was doing the most, which is sniping. We've already done 1500 damage. There's the WZ. Can we get anything into him? I don't know. We may do. He plucks one back to us. We'll have to wait until the end. I mean, the ribbon came up, so maybe we did. Now I've got a mouse over there. We've already got three bases. Put one into the mouse. Again, he drops off the map, so I don't know if I hit him. There's a Death Star. Put one into the Death Star, maybe. Oh, no, he's just dropped behind something. Oh, he's coming back. Maybe we can get him again to it. Yes, we can get a hundred odd roll into him. So already we're show we oh he's dropped off the map as well. So I don't know if I'm gonna get anything to hit either. But I mean this is a supremacy game, so there's no reason that I need to push any of these tanks. Not at this moment in time. We are even Stevens. We are both three down. I've done just shy of 2,000 damage. I know there's a mouse there, I know there's WZ there, I know there's an FV. Probably something, probably the every is capping that base at A, and I know there's a Death Star there. So, what are we going to do? I don't know yet. So, the mouse isn't going to isn't going to show. So, I need to try and stay in a position whereby I can protect the tank, protect the caps. I mean, we're up on points. There is, there is, seriously is no reason for me or any of our team to push any of these tanks. And this is the this is another thing that you need to realise, guys. You know, in supremacy, there's no reason to, to to make unnecessary actions. When you've got your cap points like this, I mean, we are up. We're 800 to 500. Why rush? Here he goes. He's going to show us that. There we go. Plonk one into the air. Oh, there's a WZ. Boom. Give him a bit of a ram. Now we can take him out, maybe. Yeah, there we go. But the mouse puts one into us. We ink sets us on fire, despite the fact we only have a 10% chance of being set on fire. Lucky sod. There's the mouse. Let's see if we can get the underplate. Yes, we can. We can get rid of the mouse. Now we've done 3,144 damage, although it's only saying 3,015. I know there are two TDs left. We're still up on cap points. It's still four against two. There's an FV. So can we plonk it into it? Yes, we can. We can get a nice roll into the FV. And somebody takes him out, and there's the Death Star. We roll back, and game over. That's it. It's all over. So we did about, what, 3,500? Uh, 3,767 damage. We only get a second class, but look at the credits you get. We did three kills, and that's the thing about this tank. It's a beautiful tank in that position. Great haul down. Great at sniping. It's got a fantastic gun. It's got a great turn of speed. I like this tank, but do I like it enough for that amount of cash? No, is my honest answer. But it's not my call. It's your money. It's up to you. All I would suggest is wait a little bit longer and it will come back round again. Anyway, that has been the AMX 30B. I have been Fujit. I hope you enjoyed that. By all means, comment, like, and all the other stuff below. If you haven't yet, please press subscribe. It's a nice thing to do, and it allows you to take part in my great gold giveaway, the details of which are on my Discord, on the EU server, the NA server, and the Asian server. Um, what else do I want to say? Yeah, if you've got any decent replays, send them to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com, or join my Discord. The uh, link is below, which means you can put them and share the, your replays with us a lot quicker. And until the next time, guys, I'll say my usual. Stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because, you know, that's what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.